How's it going, everyone? We are going to be covering Helldivers 2's biggest update yet. Escalation of Freedom is dropping on August the 6th. Might be a good time to jump back into Helldivers 2. If you played it back at launch or within that launch window, you've been playing other games, a lot of stuff has come out. Wow, this is a colossal, a massive, a gargantuan update. I do not know the exact superlative to use to describe this update, but it's going to be a lot to get into. So we're going to try to go through it as quickly as possible. Before we get into this video, as always, if you do want a copy of Helldivers 2 Cheaper, go check out our good friends over at Green Man Gaming. They have great deals on a plethora of PC games and Helldivers 2 is just one of them and uh, you'll get it a little bit cheaper You'll get a steam key immediately and you will be good to go You'll get the game and uh, you can redeem it on steam get it for a friend whatever you want to do You don't pay tax either. So that's quite nice. This is on steam only so keep that in mind the link in the description box below now on to Escalation of Freedom. This is coming from the official PlayStation blog. Catherine Baskin dropped the update. Welcome to the Escalation of Freedom, Helldivers. We've taken the time to gather feedback from our players on the front lines, and we're bringing greater variety to our content. From missions and objectives to enemies and planets, we're delivering lots of new content for both our veteran players and brand new Helldivers on the battlefield. Get ready for our biggest update yet. Our community continues to show us how strong we all are when united against the mindless automatons and the scourge of the Terminid. As we stand here on the eve of the escalation of freedom, we reflect on six months since launch. We could have never predicted how far this game would go and how many citizens would answer Super Earth's call to arms. Go on a super hell dive. Something that continues to amaze us is our players' insatiable desire for more bugs, more bots, more liberation, and more destruction. We thought nine levels of hell diving difficulty would be enough but in the escalation of freedom we're turning it up to 10 combat rating 10 that is cr10 super hell dive is our most challenging most relentless dive difficulty level yet and we hope that this is going to give players the intensity that they're looking for on the battlefield and with a great challenge comes greater rewards the new difficulty isn't the only thing that the community wanted we've also heard your desire for mission variation which is why we're bringing you new mission objectives and bigger enemy outposts for both bots and bugs that offer brand new super sample rewards these outposts will be heavily fortified and require players to coordinate and strategize in order to take them out. You've got new enemies and dangerous swamps. Escalation of Freedom is unleashing some new threats to our liberty that will take some serious strategizing from the Helldivers to take down. Backed by popular demand, the Impaler, this bad guy from the original Helldivers, creates some new challenges. No longer can you run from the bugs when the Impaler is around. Big, imposing, and destructive. It demands to be dealt with. Also, new among the Terminate ranks is the Spore Charger, as if the regular old Charger wasn't scary enough. The Spore Charger is shrouded in fog to obscure its location until it's right up on you, Helldiver. That sounds absolutely like an absolute menace. So, uh, yeah, bear in mind for that. Lastly, the Terminate Alpha Commander, which is a supercharged brood commander that's bigger, meaner, and doesn't hesitate to call in other bugs for backup. I don't think we forgot about the automatons. I think it would do me. Last time I played it, it would do us. It would do me a lot of peace if we did forget about the automatons. Their ranks are growing too, with the additional of the formidable rocket tank, as well as some other bot surprises that we'll be throwing your way. Explore the swamps, but not as you know them, with rolling fog and the untamed flora. The back in trees obscure the light, and the air itself is haunted. Keep your flashlight handy, as visibility is limited and light is key. The enemy could be hiding anywhere amongst the undergrowth. And under the hood, there will be a lot of refinements made as well. The last addition I want to highlight about Escalation of Freedom update is that we're making changes to mitigate the problem of grief kicking in Helldivers 2. While it's our hope that players engage with the game in good faith and sportsmanship, we do recognize that some players are using the team kicking to grief others. To help this, we implemented a system where if the player is kicked, they will spawn into a new session as the host with all of the team's loot from their previous session. All items can now be picked up by the player before extraction. The squad doing the kicking will see a message in the chat widget that a player has been kicked yet their loot remains unchanged that's a pretty good change with these changes all players have the opportunity to leave with all the loot collected on mission with no hell diver losing out we're committed to making changes that will improve the player experience and encourage healthy cooperative gameplay along with this we're releasing other quality of life upgrades with escalation of freedom including major fixes to the social menu 
to make diving with your friends easier. Overall, we think Escalation is going to be packed full of awesome additions, long-awaited improvements, and a ton of surprises to discover Helldivers 2, Escalation and Freedom again dropping on August the 6th. A massive, massive update for one of the biggest games of the year. Look, you can look at concurrent player counts, and I think I, I've seen some people do that, um, which is like completely comical to me. If you are even remotely suggesting that Helldivers 2 is a flop or it's fallen off, you are a completely out to lunch. That's uh, Let's actually pull up the uh, Steam concurrent player count for Helldivers 2 right now. Let's see what it's at because that's something that I feel like has gotten more study done after Pal World came out because Pal World was just breaking crazy records. But Helldivers 2 currently has 21,000, 22,000 players concurrently playing. Yes, that is a big, big fall off from where it was initially at, but that is still a healthy level of people playing the game. And remember, this is a game that people already paid $40 for. They already got your money. So yes, while it does have that live service element, um, you know, they still got money. There's still people that are concurrently supporting the game and then you're talking about updates coming out like an escalation of freedom that i do believe is going to draw a lot of people in is it going to get back to the heights that it was at probably not i mean gaming moves very quickly as you guys might know but uh hell divers 2's escalation of freedom i do think will bring some people back especially when it's dropping at a time where not a lot of big games are coming out uh, so take that for what you will, but Escalation of Freedom will be dropping on August the 6th, so be on the lookout for that. A lot of new updates, and it might be time for you to jump back in and do some diving. If you want the game a little bit cheaper, do check out Green Man Gaming. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Uh, they've got great deals on PC games. That's for a Steam key of the game, and you can check that out. But that'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.